Well, welcome to today's video. Finally, finally, finally got these parts in. The guy that made uh, pretty much the majority of my uh, carbon fiber pieces in the interior has made some more uh, pieces for the uh, Aston Civic as well as the interior. Finally for the coupe. So I'm just going to open one of the main ones. Let's see them on the same piece. There we go. Two on the same piece. Sorry about that. Two on the same piece. We're gonna go ahead and open it. Now we'll have to take the, the door apart. Head head. Now this part actually does exist for the sedan, but doesn't exist for the coupe. So that's why I was so excited to jump on these. These are uh, carbon fiber, as you can see, window switches. There we go. Uh, I got the both sides of it. I got the left and the uh, <clears throat> the left and the right side. And again, uh, there's no carbon fiber window switches for a coupe. There is for a sedan, but not the coupe. So when he said yeah, he could do it, um, jumped all over. And also, you guys know I love red carbon fiber e-brake handler. Yeah, buddy, e-brake. So my e current e-brake under is actually regular carbon fiber, but I think it was made for a sedan because it's too small because I can't get the stick. That's why I went ahead and hopped on this. is actually for a... Uh, Coupe, and you guys know I have red, I have uh, red carbon fiber on the interior. So when I saw that, I was like, no brainer. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this, install these parts. I wanted to take the door apart in order to install these window switches. Obviously, I know how to take the door apart because you guys see plenty of videos of me doing it. But as far as having to switch out the uh, actual panels, never done it, so that'll be a first to do that. Also, I need to clean up the door a little bit anyway, so that all works out. So we're gonna go ahead and throw this piece on. This is gonna be the easier of the two to get done. And then we're gonna go ahead and take the door panels off and um, go ahead and figure out how to install these uh, window switches. I do have both sides, the other side's in there. Again, they look the same. This one has obviously the four switches, the other one just has the two switches. But both carbon fiber. Let's go ahead and throw this piece on first and then we'll take out the uh, door handles. I get questions, there's the other piece, like I said. That's the passenger side and obviously the driver's side. So again, we'll take out the door panels. <clears throat> just start these switches, figure it out, pop them in the the, the eBay candle. Like I said, mine's is already apart, uh, so that'll be a simple, simple install. It should be simple install uh, after all, but I do want to clean up some of the suede on the, on the door panels anyway. So, I mean, I was just waiting for these pieces to come in. That gives me the opportunity to do it all in one go. Here at the car, again, this portion will be easy. We're going to take out the door panels to get to the door panels to get to the uh this stuff i guess i change this stuff out no panels gonna come off okay so there's my carbon fiber going right now but i think part of this was made for a sedan it never fit properly oh this came loose as you can see this just comes right on off i think it's for a sedan not actually for a coupe so we're gonna swap this out pop these things off it's pretty simple it's really not self-explanatory I mean, there's really not much to go into you got these clips on the side which are supposed to clip into these two holes right here right these clips are too small that's why i came out and focus a little bit more this clip right here is not even there and then this clip on this side right there again trying to focus kind of hard to focus guys there you go this clip right there is supposed to clip into those holes on this side there's no clip so this thing never fit like it's supposed to so that's off we're gonna throw in the new one the new red one now, I can see that I messed with carbon fiber and the red carbon fiber up there. And uh, should be good to go. But really, not much to explain. I'm gonna destroy my shift boot in order to figure this out a little bit. I think I have another one. We'll see. So, you guys know, it'll be hard to show you, but I'll do the best I can. You got the you got the clips, obviously. As you can see, like right there, that clips this portion in, right? But right here, let me see if I can get a better video of it. I'm do my best right here. Do my best to focus. It's hard. Okay, kind of hard to see it. But right here at the end of this red, red piece, there's a ball back here, like a ball. The ball is inside here. If you don't align the button piece, which is right here, with this ball, you, uh, when you, you, see how, you see how I push back, it's pushing on this ball? You can see it right there. The, the ball is right inside there. When you push this center piece, this center piece right here in, you need to make sure that before you put the boot on, you pull the lever down to be on top of the ball. It's like a look. It's like a... A, like a U-hook, kind of like that. Make sure the ball's in the middle so that you can push down the ball and see, and it'll snap back up. If you, if you don't, it'll go down and you won't get any pressure for it, for it coming back up. Just let you know, I was fighting with this thing for a minute before I figured that out. So the ball's are right here at the end. Again, it's like a U-hook at the end, at the middle rod right here. If it's not inside this ball, 
he won't get that snap back to come back up at all. I'll just be all down. And you wonder why? Because he didn't hook this piece. So make sure you hook that piece before you put the sleeve on. I have another boot. Uh, I got my original boot that I had. This was like a replacement boot that tore right there in the corner because I did what I did. Happened to have a couple extras. So, again, I don't know the part number for this boot. Just be careful. Um, again, if you do what I say, get the ball in there first before you put this boot on, it'll be okay. Yeah, got it installed. Again, it works. Um, things you could do. Uh, excuse me. What's the biggest thing? That's how it looks. Now it matches on my. I read common pie pieces. Okay, so I obviously had to, had to shift this out the way in order to uh, get this pronged up. But yeah, pain in the ass. I would say put this plastic piece on first before you put this piece on. But the biggest thing is that ball. How about that? There you go. So now the car stays put. Now I gotta take the car out of the gear. Now I feel safe. All right, so now I gotta take out these door panels so that we can go ahead. I got the downtown to switch, go ahead and switch the blue Dragon Ball. I've never used it. You always see the orange one, time for the blue one. Let's get it. Off again, I'm not going to show you how to get the doors off. I've got plenty of videos showing you how to get the door off. Obviously, we want to go ahead and we want to get to this portion right here. We're going to swap out the one of the switches right here with the uh, carbon fiber ones. We're going to turn this thing over. So, it looks like obviously this panel's got to come off again. I, I need to adjust the fabric here anyway so again if you're going to be changing fabrics and all that stuff like i do try to do it all in one go so we know this piece has to come off so we can get to the switch um looks like the switch is just screwed in you got a screw right there excuse me so the camera's off screw right there and a screw right there and maybe that's all that holds that piece in we're gonna find out either way i take anything else out the way no this is our one piece too this is why it's right here Okay, I know what I think. I gotta go ahead and remove this piece, this main piece first. Let's take this piece out, and then we're gonna see what's here. I'm pretty sure it's, this piece comes out, screw right here, screw right here. Then this box comes out, and then that face plate will come off. We'll see. Now I'm taking it off, but to find out to get this and the piece off. Again, I've got a video on how to take down, break down the door. You guys can go back and watch that. So that center piece is off. So now, here's the switch. We got perfect access to the switch. Gonna definitely, definitely fix this while I'm here. Let's see. Aha, uh -huh, there's a hook right here, see? Yeah, I'm picking this out. The hook's right in there, if you guys look. You zoom in there, the hook's right in there. Unhook that. Aha. Uh -huh. Obviously, this is plugged in here. Right here, obviously. Obviously, this is plugged in here. Let me see. This piece has to come off. This piece somehow. Aha, uh -huh, right here. Somehow this, somehow this piece slides into there on the back side. Give me a second, let me figure it out. I think it's, this piece slides, like it's like hooks, slides in. This piece goes underneath here. See this hook right there? Underneath here. And this piece will be on its own. Let's this figure it out. Where these two screws right here come into play. Take these two screws out and this piece will come slide it on out. Pretty sure that's it. Let me go ahead and remove these two pieces to see what happens. 100% right, bam, that easy. Piece comes slide on now. So don't even worry about unhooking it. Let's take these two screws out right here. See those two screws holding in. Now obviously to get this face plate off, we have to take the screws out on the bottom right here. Sorry about that. These, these two screws on the bottom. Then this whole mechanism comes off and we swap out the face plate for the carbon fiber one. Let's go ahead and swap out. How simple. Again, a lot harder than it really is. Yeah, so to make your life, just take it out. Again, it's just underneath this little clip right here. Pull it out. You have a clip at the end. You can see right there that goes in right here. Pull it out. Now I can go and swap the face plate. A lot easier not to worry about damaging or tearing it up. And there's actually three screws. See? Screw, screw, screw. So you have to take this off anyways. I got the three screws removed. Got three screws removed. Three screws comes right on off. There you go. There's a the mechanism. I'm going to take a second and... So I can clean this up a little bit. And I'll just wipe it down a little bit. But that's the face plate right there. That's how you get it off. And that's the driver's side. So the passenger side is identical, just smaller. And we'll get the carbon fiber pieces. But I'm going to take the time, like I said, to clean this up right quick. 
set the stock on TF1. There we go. So uh, all we got to do basically, you press pause to put it back in. Make sure that the, uh, should I clean it up a little bit? The buttons, you slide the buttons underneath that, underneath here, right here. If that makes sense. Slide them under. They don't, they, excuse me. Let me pop out and point the camera right. Slide them underneath here. Don't, that doesn't sit flush. It goes in like that. That makes sense. See, so it's lifted. All right. So I'm going to swap that out and simply just, simply just reinstall backwards. I got it together. One more thing I shouldn't have to say, but I'm going to say it. The screws in here are small. Don't use an electric <laughs> driver. Use a manual one if you don't strip the screws, because if you strip these screws, you're screwed. All right, so simply going to place it back back in here. Put the two screws in back on the other side. That'll lock it back in place. Make sure you, uh, I told you, you get these little hooks underneath here. And then put the panel back together. Uh, that door is done. That's why I say if you're going to modify the door like I did, new fabric, need all this, it's best to do it all in one shot. That way you just completely take the door apart, do everything you need to do in one shot. But obviously this is built up over time. I did the panels twice, had to break the door down, stuff like that. So I'm just saying, if you're doing it for the first time or you want to modify the door and all that, I would just do it all in one go and make your life easier. But again, like I said, I did in stages, so we're going to put this one back together. I'm going to adjust the fabric a little bit. Got one spot, I got to clean the fabric. And then I'm gonna go ahead and help on the passenger side. Let's go ahead and put it back together right quick. And, you know, I got one little spot to clean up right there. I got some actual Alcantara cleaner I got from like Germany a long time ago. This is tough to clean Alcantara because it's actual Alcantara. I'm gonna spray that spot down to clean that spot. And I need to uh, go ahead and they go ahead and fix this part. The staples came out. They came up like that. So I need to take all the staples out and then we do this back half down. So it's not sticking up like that. So again, like I said, uh, since I got the part, I'm going to go ahead and fix this. Uh, we already showed you how to get get it on the driver's side. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clean this up, put this back together, and then we'll work on the uh, passenger side door. Clean that. That's why it's drying. Got to stable back down. All right, so let's put this door back together. Just uh, throw it back together, and then we'll go ahead and get to work on the uh, get to work on the uh, passenger side. Get it, get it, get it done. Pass this side. I'm gonna see if I just take this screw out, loosen two screws on the other side. If I can't just slide it out without having to take out this whole piece, just to try to do some more. I need to save you guys some time. Like I said, that side's done, whatever. Now we're gonna be on this side again. I'm just gonna take the screw out, take the two screws out on the, on the back side of this that's on this side, and see if I can just slide this piece out without ever having to. I gotta take this piece over here, without ever having to actually um, um, take this piece off again. Let's see, let's just try it. You can just be careful not to scratch. You just kind of got to remove the screw right here too. To lift, just lift this up and slide this out. Because again, you know it clips in from the side. So the same thing with this. This one has, uh, looks like this one has four screws. Take these four screws out, swap the plate up. All right, same thing with this one. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this switch up a little bit while I got it right free. There's the carbon fiber one, there's the regular one. There we go, I'm gonna swap it out. Simple as that. So let's go ahead and I was able to slide the piece back in, get right back in there. Again, with the salad dead now, just use glue, glue it back to the back of here. Bam, as you can see. There we go. Got it right in there. So now, it wasn't too bad. A little bit, it took a little bit of time, but not too bad. We to glue that shit again. I'll put these pieces up and I'm going to work on the little door pieces to get the carbon fiber we done on them. I basically, I trimmed all the extra CF. I wrapped these a long time ago. Um, so I could do a better job, but I was able to trim off a bunch. Hopefully it looks better and it fits better. Both doors are done. Combo switches. So let's go throw it back in the car. Heck yeah. Oh, almost done. Let's get it. Let's get it. Almost at the end. And just for reference, it's the old black ones. All right. And one more thing I was going to show you. I talked about earlier in the video about the, uh, pin that you need for the uh, e-brake. I just remember, since I got the extra pieces, I can show you the hook I was talking about. Talking about my spell parts. That's the hook at the end of the e-brake handle. I was talking about that the ball has to go into. That ball doesn't go into this hook. Whenever you push the button, it won't snap back out. Basically, you just go up and down. It won't put any pressure. So make sure when you put this in, the little ball goes in between it. That's basically what I'm saying. Thank goodness for a bunch of spell parts. Way better. Yeah, yeah, trimmed up, locked in there. Yeah, that's badass. All right, let's do the other side now. Hell yeah, way better, loving it, loving it. And we have the passenger side done. Hell yeah, all trimmed up. Oh my God, hell yeah, dude. It looks so much better. All right, install complete. We're gonna put all this stuff up. 
Stay in driver. Yep, stay in driver because we're here. Alright, let's grab this. Throw this stuff out. And we'll go ahead and go ahead and put the last screw back and I found it in the door. But that's it. That's gonna be a installation complete. Let's put the windows back up and now I'm gonna say instead of E brake, we got the E brake that matches up the red installed. And we got the doors installed. You can call this installation complete. Again, for you guys are looking at how to take out the door panel, I have several videos that go back and tell you how to take out the door panel, etc. Do all this stuff. So, I got, again, guys, I'm about to get out of here. You gotta get ready for uh, work tomorrow. Please uh, click on subscribe. Got the blue Dragon Ball on that. Hell yeah, I got the blue going. See you guys next video. I'm out. Peace. Seven stars.